In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up a room in Polyboard with precise sizes using the Polyboard Drawing Editor. Here is the room we're going to draw, and here's the floor plan with the dimensions. Let's start a new Polyboard project by clicking on the New Project button up here. Now let's set up a floor slab a little bigger than the wall sizes. We can see that this floor slab should be 4750mm by 2500mm. To do this I'm just going to click on the new rectangular floor button, put in here 4750mm and leave the height at 2500mm. When I click OK, Polyboard opens up the surface editor and we can see the plan view of our new floor. Let's add a tile texture to this floor. I'm going to click on the texture file name and let's just add some grey slate tiles. When I click OK, Polyboard draws the floor in our 2D window. Let's open up the 3D window so we can see the 3D and the 2D at the same time. I'm going to click here the 3D view button and right click on the tab to create a new vertical group. So we now have the 2D and the 3D view on screen. Now let's draw the walls of our room. Here is our dimension floor plan that show the exact dimensions of what we need to draw for our room. We can see that our first wall is 1375mm long. Let's start by clicking the new wall button. Polyboard opens the surface editor and we can start drawing our wall. Before we start, let's set up the wall parameters. Let's make the wall thickness, make sure it's 100 millimeters. Its position is outer, elevation zero, and its height is 2,500 millimeters. Let's click the file name in the texture section and choose a texture to go onto our wall. Let's choose Sandy Mist. By default, the drawing editor has a snap to grid function activated. But as my wall dimensions are not exact sizes, I'm going to deactivate this. I'm going to click the grid button and in the menu untick align to grid. I'm also going to go to grid spacing and put it as high. This will give me a clearer working space. Now let's click a wall starting point. I'm just going to click somewhere on my surface in the bottom left hand corner. Polyboard will place the point and now I'm going to click another point vaguely vertically in the vague direction of where I want my wall to go. You can see as well I'm clicking points, the points are highlighted dark blue. In the coordinate boxes up here, I can see the XY coordinates of the dark blue point. For the moment, the coordinates are showing me absolute coordinates from the middle of my floor. This is not very useful for my drawing. Let's change the coordinate display to have some more information that will be more useful to help us drawing our wall. I'm going to click input mode and choose relative angle. Now we can see the coordinate display has changed to a angle from my last point which is 81.38 degrees, that is 81.83 degrees like this from the horizontal and the length of my line. I have a length of 1582 millimeters. If I hover my mouse over the line it will give me the same length 1582. If I want my line to be drawn vertically in the angle I'm going to put 90. If I want that length of the wall to be 1375, I'm going to put 1375 in the length box. When I click the apply button, that point will be moved to the position that I've given it. Now when I put my mouse over the line, I will get the length at 1375, the same as the length of my coordinate box here. Now that I've drawn the wall on my floor slab, it's possible to click and drag it to a new position. For instance, if I want to move that wall a bit higher on my floor slab, I can just move my mouse over it. When it goes blue, I click and I can drag that wall segment to a new position. Let's continue drawing our wall. I know that our back wall is 3000 millimeters long. So I'm just going to click a point to the right. I can now see that this point is at minus 87.51 degrees. I'm going to change that to 90 degrees and the length I'm going to set it to 3000. Click the apply button and now my wall is exactly 3000 millimeters long and at right angle to the other one. I'm now going to move my wall down 700 millimeters so I'm going to click down, 
change 87 to 90 and put in 700 millimeters long. I'm going to continue drawing my wall to the right, change the value to 90 and put 1350 millimeters long. And I'm going to draw a wall downwards, change this value to 90 and make it 1050 millimeters long. I'd like to move all my walls to center them better on my floor plan. So I'm going to press Ctrl, click the segments of each wall to select them all, and now click and drag those walls into the middle of my floor plan. I can now click OK and Polyboard will update our 2D and our 3D drawings.